This project was sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company based in China with an experience of more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. It is committed to meeting the needs of their customers from different industries in terms of quality, delivery, cost effectiveness and any other demanding requests. Moreover, now PCBWay provide high quality material TG150-160 but the same price with TG130-140. Get 10 PCBs only $5 from PCBWay. Hello, quite by chance these days I got in my hands a clone PW metal detector module. So I decided to immediately do a small review and compare it with my previously made do-it-yourself metal detectors. At first glance the module is solidly made, the elements are precisely placed and well soldered. The price is less than $50 including uh, postage. In this case it is an SMD version of this detector and you can find the same metal detector made with standard components according to an identical schematic diagram. Uh, to make a complete functional device we need to connect a battery, speaker and search coil to the module. Uh, for the power supply, for the power source I use three lithium ion batteries connected in series and it is just under 12 volts. This is a small, a small uh, laptop speaker and the coil uh, is identical to one I use in my do-it-yourself pulse induction metal detectors and consists of 25 turns uh, of enameled copper wire with a diameter of 0.4 to 0.6 millimeters. The diameter of the coil is 20 mm is, is 20, 200 millimeters. This coil dimensions represents a kind of compromise in relation to coils specialized for detecting small objects, which are mostly of smaller diameter, and those made for detecting larger massive objects at a greater distance. In this, the diameter can be one meter or more. As I mentioned before, in order to put the metal detector into operation, it is necessary to solder only six wires. These two from power supply, next two wires from coil, and two from small speaker. The detector worked immediately after switching on, but only required some adjustments. As you see on the plate, uh, there is a small multi-turn potentiometer that serves to adjust the metal detector. We need to set maximum sensitivity of the device, uh, but at the same time the stability during operation should be solid. First, with the barrier buttons we need to set three, uh, first three or four LEDs light up. And, the vo and with the volume buttons we set the desired vo volume. Barrier and volume. Uh, next, we need to rotate the tuning resistor uh, until the device begins to make sounds on its own and then we turn the potentiometer a little so that the device is silent. I'll skip this step for now because I've fine-tuned the device before. 
At each position of the tuning resistor, uh, we need to press uh, switch 4 reset button and check uh, sensitivity again. A good result by air can be considered 20 to 25 centimeters for small coin. Uh, a well-tuned device does not give false sounds at three or, or four barrier LEDs, like, like in my case. Let me mention that all these adjustments are made, are made so that the, uh, should be no metal objects near the search coil. Uh, and now let's see how the device reacts in real conditions in the air. Just to emphasize that I purchased the device with my own funds, so I want to say that when testing the device, there is no influence of any kind of sponsorship. And finally, in conclusion, I'm really pleasant, pleasantly surprised by the features such as sensitivity and stability in operation, considering that it is a very inexpensive module and to make a complete mid-range metal detector we need almost no knowledge from the field of electronics. 
all we have to do is solder a few wires and the only thing is to be very careful about the polarity of the battery.